Images are a great way to enrich your online learning content, but they do create some challenges. First, you need to find good, high quality images where you have permissions for use. You need to properly attribute those images, which is a legal requirement in Australian education. You need the ability to lay those images out relative to other on-screen content. And you need to be able to resize those images, not only as they're displayed on screen, but the underlying files themselves so that they are not overly large. Fortunately, we have some beautiful collections of free digital images such as Unsplash. Unsplash images are extraordinary and the license is specifically designed to allow and encourage reuse. And so the Unsplash attribution helper has been designed for this purpose. Let me show you how it works. Imagine that we want to use this image in our online learning. We click on the Unsplash Embedder. That will load that image and it will provide a range of features, including alternative layouts of the image with respect to on-screen content, such as this right aligned version, the attribution statement, and the ability to copy both the embed code that does the layout and positioning as well as to download an appropriately sized version of that image that will fit the available screen. I'm going to start by copying the embed code. And I'm also going to download the small image to my computer because I'll need that in just a sec. Now I can swap over to my editor. So here I am back in Moodle and I want to add that image to this book chapter. I'll hit turn editing on. I will edit the chapter itself. And to make it easier to see, I'm going to go to full screen. So what I want to do is to add that little code snippet that I previously copied. To do that, I need to toggle momentarily into the HTML view for this book chapter. Here it is here. Now, you don't need to be skilled in HTML. All you really need to do is decide where you want the image to live. In this case, I want it to be the first thing to see. So I'm going to put, in fact, above the existing content. And I'm simply going to paste that little code snippet that I had previously copied. When I toggle back into the WYSIWYG editor, you'll notice now that, that image has been placed appropriately. It has been resized. It sits floated to the right of the learning content. And importantly, it has the attribution statement that is required. The image itself at the moment doesn't live inside of Moodle. It's being pulled directly from the Unsplash image library. Now that's fine, but there's a risk that that image may be deleted perhaps by the content owner. And so to protect against that risk, we can actually upload that previously downloaded smaller image to replace this placeholder. All we need to do is simply double click on the existing image and under the browse repositories, now choose the file that we had downloaded earlier on. Here it is here. Upload this file. And now that file is placed in the original placeholder position, but the file itself lives within the Moodle file store. So let's repeat that process one more time. I'm gonna go back to Unsplash. I'll choose a different image now. Perhaps it is uh, this one here. I'm going to click the Unsplash Embedder again. Now we have this new image in various screen layouts. I could choose, for instance, this large format image, and I'll download the large image while I'm here. So that's now been downloaded to my computer. I can toggle back to Moodle. I can go back into the HTML view. All I really need to decide is where I want this image to be displayed. Perhaps it's just before this heading. I can paste that in back into the WYSIWYG editor. And now we have that larger format image, appropriate size and placed in our content. And again, it includes the attribution statement. As before, I can safeguard against this image disappearing by uploading it to Moodle. So I can double click on this, browse repositories, choose file, upload now this larger file, and our job is done. 
So now that we've got our content, if I was to save that, to do that, I'm just going to toggle back into not full screen, into normal view, hit save changes. You'll see that those images are in, that they scale appropriately. And importantly, these images are what's called responsive, which means that as a user changes their browser size, they'll grow and shrink relative to that. That's a really important at, uh, technique, particularly when it comes to mobile device viewing. You need the image to be appropriate to the screen size so that it doesn't, for instance, extend outside of the viewable area. So all that's left now is for me to show you the process of actually adding that Unsplash Embedder to your own browser. To do that, follow the link that's been provided to you with this recording. Here, you'll see that there are instructions for first time users. Click on those instructions. And the only tricky piece is to drag this Unsplash Embedder up into your browser bookmarks. So I'm just gonna take that, drag and place it up in my address bar here. Now that that is there, the next time I visit Unsplash, I can choose any image. I can click on the Unsplash Embedder and then follow the steps that you've seen previously in this recording.